So I'm finally starting to try to organize this mess. For some reason, when I'm looking at it like this, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of polishes. Probably because I already have like a whole rack full. But um, yeah, I am trying to organize all of my nail polishes. I'm also, oh, by the way, I guess impromptu office filming like setup tour. Um, this is going to be my office now. I'm like in a basement with the treadmill. Oh, and then this side is our new living room. Hey, Ohio State. Ugh. I didn't even realize, but I am wearing Steelers colors on my nails, and I need to change that because the Brown Steelers game is this weekend, so I need to change that. And I'm watching football. This is the Green Bay um, Seattle game, and um, we are, like, as a family, way into um, what's it called? Fantasy football. And. Uh, See that guy right there, Marshawn Lynch? Yep, he's on my uh, fantasy football team and I am beating the crap out of my brother right now um, because he is on my team. He, uh, my uh, brother has Aaron Rodgers and so I was like, crap, I'm not gonna do well today. Um, even though today's the first day and we still have all day Sunday, but like, yay for Marshawn Lynch because he is amazing right now. Anyways, so I figured while I'm watching the football game, I'm going to try to organize this. Basically, I'm trying to organize everything I'm gonna I've separated them into brands like this is Zoya this is China glaze that over there is OPI and then like just some other random brands this is was supposed to be my indie rack but it's already full and I still have a ton of other indie polishes so um, yeah so what I'm basically gonna do tonight is go through everything I'm probably gonna like purge a lot of it like go through what I wear and what I don't wear and purge a whole lot of it because no one really needs this many nail polishes so I guess I will this is the before and I will show you the after and yeah oh and Freddie says hi hi baby is that your mad face like don't look at me right now mom it's a good boy sorry I didn't mean to scare you hello baby the boy. So I want to introduce you guys to my dad's cat. And you see his butt right now. Yeah, we have two white cats in the family. Hey! Hey! Alright, I'm following him apparently. This would be Pippin, and we call him Utters, that's his nickname, because look at the belly. He has like actual legit Utters, except he keeps running around. Yeah, so this is Pippin. He is my dad's cat. He's much older. Him and Freddy so far don't get along very well. Hello. He's super fat. Hello, fat cat. Hello. <laughs> Look at him. I know. I know. I make fun of you all the time. I know. I know. But yes. Him and Freddy don't get along. Well, Freddy likes to play with him, and he's like, I am too old and too fat to play, and I would much rather like to lay here. So I'm just gonna hiss at you until you leave me alone. And that's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> so I'm finally done. Oh my god. So these are my four racks, um, and I know that there's some like gaps in them. But it's mostly because um, I have polishes that I haven't worn yet from those brands. Like I have three from OPI that I left spaces for, but it's because I haven't worn them yet. You know what I mean? Like I still need to wear them, but I know once I wear them, they'll go straight on the rack. So I left spaces for them. Same with like that side is Color Club. I have like four from Color Club that I haven't worn yet. And uh, the last rack down there is my Indie rack and an exercise ball that I obviously haven't used um but that is not all of my nail polishes so I did come up with another system these are the polishes that I have yet to wear or try out like I still need to swatch these are the four color clubs like I was saying the three OPIs like I have a lot of polishes that I haven't yet worn and then like just a typical this is a white and a black like you know you always need to have those out because they're kind of staples in your collection and then on this side um, these are all of my higher end polishes that didn't fit on the racks but I wanted them to have their own rack a company did send this to me but they sent it to me for review and for a giveaway and I'm giving away three of them on my um, 
main beauty channel right now and this holds 60 polishes so you can see it does hold a lot so I have like NARS, Chanel, um, Rescue Beauty Lounge, Marc Jacobs, a lot of Picture Polish, Illamasqua, Butter London. The ones that kind of cost a little bit more money that I also really pride in my collection. I may not wear them a lot, um, but I definitely do, like, I have a lot of pride that I have them, if that makes any sense. So I decided to put them here because um, mostly they didn't fit on my racks, and also I just thought that this was a really good place to put them. So overview of like my desk this is what it looks like so far believe it or not I have more polishes so this whole bag are drugstore polishes and um, minis and extras so like a lot of times I have backups like I have a couple bottles of um, Sally Henson extreme warm mellow yellow because people went crazy when they discontinued it so this is all drugstore pretty much um, backups and minis and then this one this bag is all polishes that I'm planning on um, this was like my D stash pile I mean they're gonna give it to friends I may one day do a blog sale if I decide not to give them away but that's pretty much all the polishes I'm getting rid of there's about 40 to 50 in there so that is my collection um, yeah it took me way too long it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm ready to go to bed but that is my collection at the moment Today I am on my way to the mall. Yeah, the mall. Um, I This is my first day off in three weeks. I am so excited, you guys don't even know. So funny story, uh, my boss, um, you know, I, always, I probably say it way too often, but I have two jobs. And my boss for my second job, my second job was just supposed to be like a summer job, happy job, you know, that kind of thing. And actually, I ended up working my second job more than my first, which is kind of, it kind of makes me mad. But, um, so my boss for my second job texted me Wednesday night and said, do you, like, this other person who works there um, wants to know if she can have your shift tomorrow. Because I work at a yacht club and uh, obviously that is like summer, you know what I mean? Like I live in Cleveland. Um, people aren't boating on Lake Erie in January because it's frozen. So, um, you know, there is a definite boating season in the north and we are getting out of it. Um, there's really only a good solid month left um, and a lot of people are already tapering down, not coming, not going to their boats as much. Um, so it gets really, really slow and then people start pulling their boats between October and November. Um, the most die-hard people leave it in um, sometime in November, but by November we already have snow and you don't want to expose a boat to snow. So besides the point, so she was like, uh, so my boss texted me and she's full time, like that's her only job, she's there all year round and you know she was working five or six days a week and I mean I work there five days a week too but you know she, that's her only job, her only source of income when I have another job and so he was like, you know, I'm cutting her shifts in half because you know we don't need as many bartenders on you know when not as many people are down here and so she wants to know if you'd be willing to give up your shift tomorrow. And I texted him back and I said, you know, it's not that I don't want to because if she really wants it, she can have it, but I'd rather give up a shift on a day that I don't have my first job because I live in the suburbs now and it's a half hour when there's no rush hour. When there's rush hour, it's about an hour to an hour and a half commute for me. When there's no rush hour, it's a half an hour commute for me to get from my house to my, uh, to both jobs because they're within five minutes apart. They're both in downtown Cleveland. And so um, I just texted him back and I was like, you know, I'm already going to be downtown, so I'm planning on being there anyway. Is there any way that she would want to take like my Friday, Saturday, or Sunday shift? Um, so I don't have to like waste the gas on a day that I don't have to drive down there, you know what I mean? And he texted me back and said, no, she doesn't want to do that. She only wants her Thursday. And I said, well, I'm going to be downtown anyway, so I'm just going to keep my normal shift and make some extra money. Um, and so <laughs> I ended up working last night and then he's texting with her all last night and he says, okay, she changed her mind. She wants your shift tomorrow. Is that okay? And I said, yeah, absolutely. That's okay. So uh, today is my first day off in three weeks. I'm so excited. So um, 
basically I am going to the mall I'm gonna do some shopping I'm gonna do a lot of damage um, because I this is my birthday money I have a lot of money to spend and I need a lot of work clothes too like I've been saving for like a really 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 big splurge shopping trip so that's what I'm gonna do and I also need to get my oil changed and do a lot of just general maintenance on my car so I'm gonna go to an auto shop basically I'm having a big day out and then hopefully tonight I will do something fun with Birdo so uh, yeah that's what my day looks like so I definitely did a lot of damage at the mall so impromptu haul I went to Aerie because well actually I first went to American Eagle and bought four pairs of jeans oh my god amazing and then when I was at American Eagle they gave me a gift certificate well not a gift certificate but they said if you go over to Aerie today you get $10 off a $40 purchase so I went and purchased a pair of well actually Everything was on mega sale, so I got a pair of yoga pants, a pair of silky boxer shorts, and a pair of just regular sleep shorts. Oh, and then for free, they gave me, where is it, a beanie for the winter. So odd. Um, went to H&M, just got some staples, like, out of their basics line. A couple of shirts. Who's coming in? Why, Hello. What are you doing? It's like, I'm going to go up on your clothes, Mom, that you were just about to fold and put away. I'm going to go and sit on all of them. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I also did Sephora. Sephora was, like, what I actually did kind of, like, a lot of stuff that I didn't really need, but I did because I justified it myself. I got two new pairs of shoes. These are so cool, and Payless was buy one, get one free. Look at these. Like, how cute are those? And then, um, the last place was the Limited, and that's mostly, like, you know, suits and stuff. So I did some damage, but it was a really, really good shopping trip. It's a really, really cool view of the city. We are in Tremont, about to go eat dinner. The fucking final room. Best show ever. Dun, 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 dun. I love SVU. I've ever mentioned it's like probably my favorite show. Um, I'm looking kind of like a hot mess right now, but that's okay. So I am dog sitting that beautiful little girl over there. Hi, Montana. Yeah, she's definitely, she's probably in her final months, but I hate to say that, but she's she's definitely slowing down. We are getting a foster, another foster dog this I think Friday, I'm not quite sure. Um, I hope, hopefully it's this Friday, but uh, yeah, uh, for all of you guys who don't know, me and my mom um, are a part of a Golden Rescue Society called Grin. It's Golden Retrievers in Need, and um, we foster dogs. So basically we take in um, dogs that are available for adoption and we give them a home until they're adopted and we also help facilitate the adoptions. So far we've done two. Um, one got adopted. It was a beautiful little girl named Star and then the other one was Sammy and he had a lot of behavioral issues. He was the sweetest boy when you were home but the second that you left, like, I mean, like, this, like, you could have left for, like, 10 seconds. One time I went to go get the mail, which is, like, our mailbox is attached to the house. It's, like, one of those, like, ones that's, like, right at your front door. So I left the room for no more than 10 seconds, and he had the worst separation anxiety of any dog I ever met. If he couldn't see you, he would go, like, panic attack, destroy things. It was bad. So we actually had we couldn't handle like we couldn't be home all the time and he was destroying the house and then we tried caging him anyways it's a very long story he was sent to a behavioral specialist to live with so he's still kicking he's still doing good but he hasn't found a home yet but um the dog that we're supposedly getting this weekend is named bear and um i'm really excited so yeah um Hopefully, right now I'm like, it's so boring. I'm about to do my nails and I'm watching SVU and that's pretty much it. Um, and hopefully I'll take you guys along to see Bear. I swear to God, in this basement you hear the craziest sounds. But, um, yeah, I am, I guess I'm done. I mean, 
the weirdest part about vlogging is I never really know how to cut it off. Like, I never really know how to say goodbye, you know? There's no, like, good time to just say, this is where my video ends. But yeah, this is where my video ends. Uh, I am having a protein shake, having a cup of coffee, watching Love Heatherette. I am trying my darndest to catch up on videos that I've been missing, you know, for the last, like, three months because I felt like I haven't really been able to watch any videos for the last three months. Um, so I'm like trying to catch up on everyone that I love and miss. And um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And I think I'm just gonna cut this off and say goodbye. Um, and hopefully my le my next vlog will be a little bit more entertaining. Oh my God, I feel like I totally have blueberries in my teeth because that is a blueberry smoothie. I totally have blueberries in my teeth. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off and stop talking.